What's up? I'm Nitty. And I'm Nova. And this is Drip City on Pass the Mic TV. This is how we do it, moving through the time zones. East to the west coast that we fly home. And we don't quit, we equip with liquid. Sip until we get drunk with the cups is. We started out, we were always kind of paying for studio time. And, you know, we were getting other people to do the beats. It just wasn't working out, you know. We wanted to really experiment a lot more with the beats, so we kind of just saved up our money, started buying our own studio gear, and just started making our own stuff. Drip City, to me, like, you know, it's kind of where you go to wash away all your inhibitions, you just let loose. I mean, I feel like in hip-hop, a lot of people are in this box, and they're policed by their peers, you know. They can't really step outside the box and just do them. Right, you know, we're trying to just really Everybody mean-mugging. They're too... They're too Gangster to have fun, they're all just me mugging up in the corner all the time, man. Come on, you can't be gangster all the time, you know. We about to, you know, bring the party, really. I was raised on the G funk, Snoop Dogg, Warren G, Nate Dogg, all that stuff. And for me, I grew up a lot on, you know, my parents had a huge record collection, so they're always playing Motown. They're always playing. A lot of African music, a lot of French music I wasn't so into, but you know, I, I was very eclectic in my musical collection growing up. So last year I dropped my album, debut album on Drip City, The Drop. Basically like when I was doing the album it was just like, I was trying to make an easy listening album, something that was good to chill to or whatever. I didn't get too technical with the flows or nothing, I was just trying to keep it basic. It's something you can party to too, There's, we, definitely. we definitely got that party vibe going on the CD, it just kind of, that's kind of who we are I feel. We like getting live, you know, I get loose a little bit, so what? <laughs> I mean, for now, we're going in a time where music is eventually going to be free and we're going to start making money around music rather than off of music. Selling CDs per unit is the way of the past that's going out. We're going to bring it in a whole new direction where, you know, there's going to be a lot more touring. I, I feel is, you know, artists just getting themselves out there and selling merchandise. All the things making money around music, not off of it. It's the future. I feel where it's going. Um, I think a big part of it now, and you see it all over television, is like reality TV. So we're going to be bringing the camera out more and more. And hopefully what I plan to do is basically have the camera going on all of our tracks for the next album have a video of like the making of this track um, for every song and album right so you'll actually be able to see us work and do the whole album from start to finish through every track you'll see us in there recording doing the beats getting drunk <laughs> whatever you know and we'll just throw it all in there make a little salad so y'all can stay tuned uh, check us out at myspace.com slash drip city because uh, basically like the way we're doing our our new music is just every time a track's done we're just gonna put it out it's gonna be available for free we're just giving it away album yeah I mean we might put out a CD we'll cover the cost of the CD but basically all our music coming out is just gonna be free man free music that's that's hot check the my space always come back there's always new music up there and it's all free man i don't know i don't know what more i can say i love it even at that